President Kenyatta has asked governors to support his administration's agenda with health care as a priority. Governors attended the devolution conference pledging to work with the national government for the success of the Big Four agenda. Taki Maribi has more. President Kenyatta was expected to officially open the conference in Kakamega. His televised address to the delegates focusing on the need to collaborate in achieving his Big Four agenda. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This, the president acknowledging, would not be a walk in the park. It will remain just that, an agenda, if we do not come together in common endeavor. None of us can stand aside waiting for others to do the heavy lifting. This plan will work only if we come together. Kenyatta narrowing down on provision of health care as his priority in this intergovernmental relation. Be the hard work of financing this dream and restructuring all institutions critical to its success. We will have to improve the quality of our facilities and manage the cost and quality of drugs. We will also have to train and recruit more doctors and nurses. The initial step in achieving this marked by a directive to the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF, to assign enrollment officers across all the 47 counties. I also direct that the State Departments of Interior and Social Protection will instruct their officers to support you in the enrollment process. A move a number of the governors present at the Kakamega conference had expressed a willingness to support. One question we must ask ourselves in this conference is this. How ready are both levels of government to provide health care for the entire Kenyan population? What are the human resources needs, the equipment and infrastructure gaps that should be filled to attain universal health care coverage? Your Excellency the President, County governments are with you in this agenda. The president once again fired a warning shot asking all state officers to prioritize a service delivery to the citizens. We have covered Wanjiko and I don't want to hear that she came to hospital and she found neither aspirin for her pain or a doctor to attend to her. I will not, and I repeat, will not entertain any delay in provisioning of resources nor will i tolerate waste and corruption to further entrench devolution the president announced the launch of the kenya devolution support program and the kenya urban support program at a cost of 50 billion shillings these will be performance-based conditional grants to boost the capacity of county governments Kenyatta also sought the governor's assistance in promotion of food security and manufacturing to rev up the country's GDP to double digits in five years. Jackie Maribe for the big question.